Hello everybody, this is Amorgan and you're very welcome back to the wonderful universe of Star Trek Fleet Command. A quick video today just to demonstrate base relocation, jumping to another base and depriving some unsuspecting player of some much needed resources. You can see I'm quite low on power steel so that will be my focus today. So first thing we do, if you have the system coordinates, you can enter the system coordinates. I've already done my little bit of scouting around and I'm lucky enough to have a very good alliance and an alliance leader who can share information and who has already assisted in softening up this base to prepare it for my survey ships. So first thing you need to do if you're jumping base gear is once you've found your target and you've got relocation tokens, save all that travel time, you find your target and simply relocate base once all of your ships are recalled. So we relocate base and we're right beside this guy. So thank you Octo for softening this guy up. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit him over the warship first just to be safe. Okay, so he's full, you can recall him and directly send my strongest envoy. And then that envoy is at 51k and this guy's base is 221, but like I say, he's been softened up already. Now the advice in this situation is, after one hit, recall the ship and repair as it, it seems to be cheaper than doing multiple hits. So we'll try a slightly weaker envoy at 41k on this base. We'll take another wee look here. And you'll see from that his station defences are weakened, his hull is minus 21k and that will slowly regenerate over time that was part of the recent update. So we'll hit him with the weaker envoy, see how that fares. And that worked because it looks like that base is just so weak from the original attack. So we repair that and go again. So this envoy has stun equipped to the bridge and it's maxed out so it has a capacity of 180,000 and you can see there that my power steel has just gone up. We'll take a look at some of these battle reports now shortly. You see the three little green blocks at the top of the ship it means its cargo is full. There's literally no point in hitting it after that because you won't get anything when you're full. So because I'm beside him guys, it just makes more sense to use the stronger ship. The repair cost of which is a little under 3,000 Tritanium and 500 Dilithium. Let's see what, he, what he's got left in terms of resources. So he's still got well over a million, so let's give him another few love taps. Mm -hmm. 
And rinse and repeat, please. Now, maybe I'm a little bit soft. But I don't like to drain somebody absolutely completely. So we'll leave him just with a small amount. Not that it matters, but... I've been drained a few times myself, and I know what it's like, so... At the very least... I can lead by example and show people that you don't have to take every last little drop. I'm sure there's plenty will disagree. Okay, so one or two more hits will probably do it. So let's take a look at these battle reports. So the first two, first hit was the warship, so we'll ignore that for the moment because it would have been minimal care. going to see what we got in that first major hit. So there you can see the titanium cost is almost covered there as well. That was the weaker ship. So there you have it guys, <clears throat> approximately 120k power steel on each run. We might leave this guy alone for now, that was worth the relocation token. We'll catch up with you again soon guys, thanks very much. We'll see you again. Cheers.